Welcome to Assemblance. This is an adventure game that has to do with memories. That's about all I know about it. I actually found out about it from watching a Waypoint Twitch stream of the sequel to Assemblance, which just came out a couple days actually before I'm recording this. They said it was really good and it looked pretty interesting to me. So I did a little bit of research on it and found out that the original game, Assemblance, that we're playing right here was on sale. So figured why not? Let's check it out. It's had very few reviews. Um, I think it's gone kind of under the radar. It seems like not many people have played it. So don't know what I'm getting myself into exactly, but if it's anything like the second game, I think I'll really like it. Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. How are you feeling today? That's an odd question in an emergency. By the way, I haven't actually played past this point. I played it for like 10 seconds, just to check settings. Um, I'm not angry, uh, confused. Thank you for participating in this Listen, questionnaire. I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. No shit. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So, do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long, and for some reason, you seem really stressed out. Your answers from the questionnaire, well, odd. Do you at least remember how this all works? So I believe the, the person or entity talking to me is an AI. I think it said that in the Steam description. You're kind of like guided and helped by an AI. Been at this for a while. Yeah, and this, this place right here looks, I think, pretty much exactly the same as it does in the second game. This is like the chamber that you use to go into into memories, into different spaces. That's kind of like a, a holodeck sort of thing over there. Woodland Ridge, 7th of April. About, uh, I assume that's a time, right? It's like 1 p.m.? 1.42 p.m. Very impressive. This is all a very good sign. Just step inside. Relax. 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 Gosh, this game is really pretty. zoom in super far. Whoa. You, you, you always respond well to that memory. It was from a better time in your life. Before the endless hours of hard work and regret that destroyed your self-worth and forced you to question all the choices you've made. But perhaps things are different now. Are you ready to continue? I hope you have the mental fortitude to remember what happens next. Something very meaningful had occurred. I get the feeling this AI isn't entirely on my side. It seems a bit antagonistic. Yeah, so I guess with the, uh, the Y button on my Xbox 360 controller, I can just leave the simulation at any point. Which is what I just did there. I kind of want to just go back here, but I guess let's do what they want me to do, huh? Actually, no, let's not do what they want me to do. I'm going back here. Oh, wow. It's gone where it came from. Butterfly.
I love how far you can zoom in. It's always kind of frustrating when I'm playing an adventure game. You know, like a, a 3D first person sort of exploring game. You can zoom in, but it only zooms in a little bit. I'm like, I wanna look at I wanna look at it closer. Yeah, that's well maybe maybe I shouldn't look closely at that. Music's so relaxing. that has any special significance because in the stream that I saw of the second game there was some like uh, some sort of bonus secret stuff that you could do by uh, entering different color shifts like if you looked at a certain thing you could enter like a, a blue color shift or a red color shift and one of the ones you could look at I think was a blue butterfly that made everything blue and, and change some stuff and this looks just like it doesn't seem to do anything though I have no idea if the color shift thing is in this first game at all. I think that's all there is to this place. Let's go back. Oh, I can actually move faster, I just realized. Not exactly a run, but a little bit faster. Assemblance Office, 18th of April. So 11 days after this one. What does that mean though, 11 days? I guess that's just when it's, when the memory is set at, when it was recorded. Just the time the memory is from your office. You were always there. Late at night. night, night. cool the way it rewinds all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, and I apologize for the lack of subtitles, by the way. There's very few options for this game. This seems to be all there are, and yeah, there's no... there seems to be no audio options whatsoever. So, sorry that I can't turn those on. Ooh, I wish I wasn't quite so blurry. I can read it, but I wish it was sharper. Uh, email incoming from S... Bellevue or something? Subject, time dilation error. Received by... Is that a date? What the hell kind of a date is that? That doesn't even... I mean, it must be a date, right? Because the thing on the right is a timestamp. But the date, 10.224.578.11. Oh, you know what it might be? I don't think this is a world where date formats are just completely different. This tape talked about how you could theoretically store memories, but that, you know, the, their integrity depends on whether they're accurate to begin with. So I'm guessing that's just an error in the memory. 
Getting back to you on this, last night I was working on the chamber's primary holographic subroutine. While attempting to iron out the variable field algorithm, I noticed that the chamber's asynchronous logic gate was disconnected from the master CPU controller. It might be a glitch in the newly installed diodes, but that's not what I'm most concerned about. While performing a fresh diagnostic on all files concerning the recursive program 3A via the holographic arch, I discovered new files stored in a previously noted protected memory. When I run the files contained within it, the hologram appears, but not where you'd expect. It seemed to exist outside of the primary cell, the A cell. This doesn't make any sense. I then tested the time dilation of this hologram. I took off my watch, which has a built-in chronometer. I approached the field containment barrier and threw it inside. After resetting the simulation, I recovered the watch. The time had not changed. I reperformed this test twice with exactly the same results. This can only mean one of two possibilities. I need your help. I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm starting to wonder what would happen if we decided to test the chamber on ourselves, knowing its faults. I think you know where I'm going with this. Don't share this information with anyone until we discuss in person. So, the time dilation of the hologram, so this strange hologram that's appearing where it shouldn't, apparently freezes time on anything that's inside of it? I wonder if I'm one of those researchers that went inside of it. Hey, wait a minute. That clock moved forwards. Time is passing? Or at least it appears to be passing within the memory? That wasn't 1205, right? Wasn't it 1201 before? Eh, I'll check it in a minute, see if it keeps it moving. Assemblance Labs. Memory 55-8F, Subject 1, Case Study. Confidential. So are these the memories of Subject 1? After all, if I'm going inside of memories, they must have been extracted from... A person. Oh yeah. Yeah, the clock is per quo. Why is it so dark? I feel like if I stare at it, something might happen. I guess it's just a sort of HDR thing. Just very intense. Part of it's covered up. <laughs> it's almost like it's horrible. You can't you can't pick up these things. I can't move them or anything like that. I wonder if that has to do with this being a memory. When you're in a memory, can you maybe not like pick stuff up? Nah, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? Or would it? I don't know. Subject AI guidance. Um, have to report regardless of the higher up. Subject seven F seven twenty two trials guidance system eleven without the initial simulations became painfully redundant. Uh, notable increases in both something something and memory revisions. Challenged in many ways as immoral, even something something should consider a complete lock in protocol. A complete subversion into selected memories. Suggest non-goal exposure to see what something something around on in simulation code, which will allow uh, the ability to annotate in memory in case resetting uh, something. Loss of connectivity. AI prompt requests have been submitted. See action request G209. Testing, of course, will be necessary. I suggest we begin by submitting ourselves to 30-minute exposure with no guidance system. It is time to stop with the games and let one of us take the plunge. I volunteer if no one else does. I have my own simulated areas built already. OM. Yeah, so I guess they built the AI that is uh, is talking to me as a way to try to guide people through these memories, help them, make sense of them.
subject fallout effects. Author Dr. M. Lewis, Project Assemblance Labs. Author Dr. Morgan Lewis. Summary. Upon completion of the third stage of treatments, increased FOFR levels were observed. FOFR? Huh. Were observed and recorded in test subjects C1 and F7. Talk therapy and physical contact, motherly embracing, seemed to alleviate C1's FOFR level, which was back to average by the subject's evening release. F7's FOFR fluctuated between 7.4 and 6.2 for more than 4 hours after test completion. Therefore, the subject was deemed not safe for evening release and was required to stay overnight in observation. Of noteworthy mention are F7's recall from latest memory excursion of an illuminated rectangular field embedded in an eclipse, and reports of implausible time dilations. They reported that they were able to manipulate the clocks in the simulation when recalling memories of intense focus. In other words, in the simulations, in the simulation the track of time was literally lost when their minds were focused on pleasing or rewarding thoughts. This was true in subjects something something. Upon further treatment, subject F7 showed no sign of improvement believing to still be in a simulation often confusing me for the AI guidance system, demanding a new set of simulations and threatening to shut me down. When the subject stared at a clock insisting that action would trigger a repressed memory at exactly the time it once occurred, I had no choice but to alert PPD security and have the subject hospitalized. What follows is a complete report comparing the similarities and approaches for both C1 and F7. Oh, this raises some disturbing questions. I wonder if that's what's happened with me. Am I out of the simulation, but I think I'm still within it? Has my mind been messed up by the tests we've been doing? Also, they reported that they were able to manipulate the clocks in the simulation when recalling memories of intense focus. The track of time was literally lost when their minds were focused on pleasing or rewarding thoughts. I feel like that's really important, especially since the time is changing. Oh, and then there's like little bits of text that are covered up. Uh, there's not enough there to read to get anything though, I'm just gonna look for like, I don't know, a secret password or something. In fact, there are some numbers there, 303102? It feels strange that I can't open any drawers. 241GH29. They're like really, really blurry, but like sort of just readable. Look closer. Remember when she were saw the blue butterfly. Oh, the blue butterfly does have significance. Now it's telling me to leave. Well, I don't want to just yet. Let's take a look at this. Master bulk email direct sender. Un unregistered version. <laughs> and then... Some sort of, like monitoring performance tool thing in the background showing CPU usage, RAM, power, hard drive activity. There's some pictures down there. I see a couple people. Oh, I can kind of read that. Uh, remove, I want you to activate that last memory you have. This dialogue is already in voiceover room 2 underscore 01. Remove, just relax, and everything after. Sam, Casey, Alex, Morgan, Bartholomew, Rome. Why are three names crossed off? Something Henry and... I'm not sure what that says.
Case MEM 55-8F, similar effects. Recipient, Dr. M. Lewis. Results, upon completion of the third stage of treatments, increased, I'm just gonna say FOVR instead of F-O-F-R. Increased FOVR levels were observed and recorded in test subjects C1 and F7. Talk therapy and physical contact, mother, wait. Isn't this the same one we just read? Isn't it? Yeah, that is. This note's different, though. Morgan's... In... In the hat? Watch her? Sam. Morgan's in the hat. What the hell does that mean? Blueprints? Of Assemblance Labs Building 1. Ah, another half-covered piece of paper. Damn it. Dr. R. Plovis. Subject choice. Uh, can't read enough of that. Uh, pathways open have proven in 6 out of 10 initial simulations to be tied to recollection of what the subjects themselves referred to as previously suppressed memories. However, in each of the six cases, these breakthroughs only occurred after long exposure to the simulated destinations. After extensive interviews and analysis, each of the simulated subjects could not articulate the difference between a suppression or a discovery. Of the four fail cases, upon further exploration of their programmed intelligence, two were flawed with developmental defects, another was approaching the system with 180 IQ, and another was simulated under the effects of narcotic cocktails. Limitations. We suggest making the perceived experience more ambiguous than initially postulated. It should now be defined as open-ended and dynamic memory induction. Error code anomalies. Note, there is a problem with the simulation and what appears to be a key point of possible recall. The error code effect is showing up in simulation location C, but only after transitioning from self-end to a possibility variable involving one of the formerly dissociative triggers. We've deduced the following to help provide possible solutions to the proposed error code effects. I'm sorry, what? What did I just read? The error code effect is showing up in simulation location C, would only whatever that location is, only after transitioning from self-end to a possibility variable involving one of the formerly dissociative triggers. I do not know what that means. Huh. Oh, that's just cruel. It's both covered up and upside down. Can I read it from here? Report, list of excellence. The following volunteers shall be recognized for their continued contributions to project assemblance in any and all respects up to and including MEM 558F. This is Allied Allied B team. Mm. Okay, bunch of names. I don't think any of those names are the ones that are on that list of uh, that paper. Hard to tell, though. Sam... Oh, wait. This one. I see Sam. Any others? Barrett? No. Ah, I don't know. Oh, really? This one's, like, completely in the dark? Oh, my God. That's... <laughs> it's too dark to even read. Hmm. Could that be a passcode of some sort? 00150027 Alpha Beta Code Index
Allied B Team. Lloyd Barker and Ed Bakalowitz. Why is there an outlet so high up on the wall? What if there was a light switch this entire time that I could have turned on? Is there? That would just be kind of embarrassing. I don't think so, though. Nah. Seems like your ability to interact with the world is extremely limited. Well, this is a map of the lab, and this says C down here, this, like, line. I can't really do much with that, but I wonder if that is location C, where the, uh... Error was happening that it mentioned in one of the notes. Where are we on this map? Woodland Ridge. That's where one of the memories is set. Maybe that's like just outside the facility? Looks like we're pretty far out of the way. I mean, it looks like we're in the mountains or something. Bedroom, entry, some sort of a house. Living room, skylight, kitchen, floor plan. Be on the lookout for my stapler was last seen <laughs> on my desk. Uh, hmm. Space cats. You can sort of see a cat eye, I think. July. Benedine Review. Goodbye, Carter. Trust Seminar. Bee's Birthday. Ooh. Bee's Birthday. So I know B. I'm not exactly sure who that is, but it probably wouldn't be too hard to find. Bee's Birthday is July 23rd, 2015? Birthdays are definitely high candidates for passcodes. Who's B? Bartholomew or Bartholom Bartholomew? Yeah. Yeah, it said goodbye, Carter. Carter's crossed off. Alright, I think it's time to go. You, 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 you seem to be making connections to your past. I'm glad you haven't completely lost your mind. Now let's continue with this train of thought, and see where it takes you. Why is this AI such a dick? So, we probably need to look at the butterfly next. that. Don't wait for me, please. Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. How am I feeling? Um, great. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So where should we begin? What do you remember? To be honest, I'm a little concerned about your current mental state. Your answers from the questionnaire, somewhat reassuring, but I'm concerned you're becoming further detached from reality. Do you at least remember how this all works? Ah, yeah, so now that memory is fully unlocked. So it's just a, a memory bridge between two things, that butterfly. Seeing it just 
fluttering around reminded me of the time that I saw one just like it as a, a picture. Actually, I don't know if it was a picture or a specimen. 